Hello, I am the founder of ParsiCuisine.com. Since 1999, I have been providing recipes, food news on Indian Parsi cuisine. Today, I would like to present to you my published book. It's a hardcover and a paperback. It's called Manna of the 21st Century. I have cooked all these foods in the U.S. I live in U.S. with my husband and kids and each food is Indian origin and Parsi origin. I've taken all the Parsi traditional recipes and compiled them in this book. Again, I've been doing this for since 1999. Um, these are my parents. I dedicate this book to my parents. I have been inspired by books, old books, Vividwani, um, and so here is like the basics of Parsi food, spices, adulasan, machilasan, which is ginger and garlic and green chilies ground together in good proportion. I have all my Masalas recipes, Danshak masala powder. Here we have kebabs. Um, you'll see this book is very lovely. It's a hard cover, easy. It folds down for cooking with it. Recipes like grilled chicken sizzlers, shrimp kebabs. And then these are different sections. This one is a section about seafood in the book. How to fry. Parsi fish, Tareli Machi we call it, um, very tasty, uh, we eat fish a lot, Parsis love fish, brown feds, salmon, anything um, that is uh, found in the rivers, we prefer that, brown feds are found in the oceans. I've given a little short history of our Parsi heritage and like Parsi Tarapori Patio. Um, Tarapori Patio means the patio originally was cooked in the town of Tarapur in Gujarat, India. So I come from India and these are my favorite dishes to eat. My mother used to make them, my mother-in-law used to make them and I've learned from the experts. Here's a shrimp pulao. Here we have Jardalu Magos, Salima Margi, or Sali Boti, and fried potatoes, chicken mutton cutlets with tomato gravy, goan pork vindalu, on and on chicken vindalu, our favorite dan shak, and this is the authentic traditional Parsi dan shak made the authentic way. You'll find a lot of cheap knockoffs, but this is this is the real recipe out here. So on and on, Nizami chicken, Bafat, Parsi Bafat, Badami chicken, then we have a whole section on eggs. Parsis love eggs and anything par idu, meaning on top with eggs, topped with eggs, is a dish, uh, Parsi's relish for lunch, dinner, anything. So here's uh, omelets made, masala omelets made the Parsi way. Here we have a puri, baruchiya puri, and all kinds of eggs. Now, the vegetarians, even people who don't eat meat, can enjoy this book because Parsi, many Parsis are vegetarian. And here's a lagannu stew, which is a very vegetarian dish. Dandar can be eaten without, this is fish on the side, but it can be eaten as for vegetarians. It's a very nice dish even for kids to eat with. Here's our usual kachumbar. Now I'm flipping all these pages you know, double bound. So, uh, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm not showing you everything. 
This is brown rice with dan shak. So this is a huge book, and I even made sali at home. Wagareli kichri. Now come the desserts. Save parsi save. How to make it nice and fluffy? Dudni save. Papri for daran with malido. Bakras. I love bakras. They are my favorite, and they make a good tea time snack anytime. Naan khatai. And look, this is the way we used to get them in Surat. So I wrapped them in. Uh, a tissue paper and made them look like we get them in Surat, the Surat, Gujarat, India. But all this was cooked by me in U.S. with ingredients found in the U.S. supermarkets. Batasas. And, and, and. Get off. There's another batasa picture, and all the recipes are authentic, beautifully cooked. Chapats. English toad in the hole. This is from the Vividwani. So you'll really enjoy this book. It's a coffee table treasure to make keep, and whenever you want to make any Parsi food, you can find most of the time the item in this book. But if you don't, please feel free to email me, and I'll be ready to help. My website has more recipes than that in, the, in this book, and I constantly blog about such new items. So here's a ganina larva I made, and I use the sace paro, a, a mold that is triangular shape. This is the traditional shape to make the ganina larva. The ganina larva is put in the mother to be's lap. When she is pregnant, in to bless her with a good child. Yes, Dudin Olvo. This is Mawani Boy. Mawani Boy is again made from mawa, which is a milk product. The milk is burnt down with other ingredients to make a thick paste, and then you put it in molds and make the Mawani Boy. Very tasty. It's also flavored with many many. Ingredients. So here we have it: darni pori, mitthu dai, faluda. Who wouldn't have faluda in their Parsi cuisine? This is me making kumas. One day you'll find many videos on our YouTube channel, youtube.com, the Parsi cuisine. So that's our YouTube channel, and here's the wasanu. Beautiful recipe of my mother, uh, just filled with 32 items to put in the wasan. Then I have a short way of making toplina paneer with rene, and then I also have some heritage bakeries uh, that were found in Mumbai. I mean, my uncle used to buy Christmas cake from this bakery and bring it down to our house. And I've tried to recreate those bakery items. Uh, Christmas cake, of course. This is Mawana cakes. This is how making Mawo at home. Every recipe has many detailed step-by-step -step instructions. Mawana penda. This Mawa cakes with saffron. Mawa nakaja. Okay. So, Surti Gari, Nadial Na Makroon, now comes the pickles, huge amount of pickles, Lagan No Achar, I've been known to really love, make Lagan No Achar and I've shipped them all across US. Bombay Duck Pickle, hard to get Bombay Ducks here, but when I do, I do try. Gaur Keri Achar. Vegetable stew achar, prawn pickle, vadu mango pickle, which is a Maharashtrian dish. This is pickled cranberry applesauce, which I make for Thanksgiving. I mean, living in US, we celebrate Thanksgiving with all the roast turkey, 
cranberries, pumpkin, everything. Parsi tomato chutney, my mother's recipe, and the taste that is in here. <laughs> so I hope you can enjoy everything that's passed down to me. And this is another Kerino Murambo. Then I have pumpkin Murambo also right here from the local produce. Corona Murambo we call it. This is Badam Pak made from almonds. It's a health food and uh, it, it's very nutritious to eat when you are celebrating something. So here we go. Pani no achar. Folks may remember the old jars filled with pani no achar in any Parsi home. Abosias. Um, is that, this is a chutney that's used for patrani machi. Api choy. Indian tea. It improves your karma to sit and have a cup of tea with a lot of karma. I have a glossary so that you can find the Indian groceries easily in the Indian stores wherever you are. I also have aprons that have the Parsi cuisine logo. And so here we have it, my book. I hope you enjoy and take a look.